What's up, guys? It's the, uh, whoa. Camera got really dark there. Sorry. I'm saving up money to get a new camera, because right now I'm just using my fucking LG camera. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a, uh, my first dip experience, because you know it's the first video, so how I do a first dip experience. Um, basically, uh, today I'll be dipping on Stokers. Wintergreen. Uh, I like it. I mean, it's, it's a good long cut. It's kind of sweet. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, this is my first dip. Um, so, not this video is not my first dip. Um, so, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to put a dip in and uh, get a mud jug out. Oh, hey, Soph. This is my cat, Sophie. <laughs> Say hey. Right. Yeah, I love you too. And so, uh, so let's put this a dip in. Oh, and uh, before I put this dip in, what's, what should be a good name for the squad? Uh, I'm thinking 318 squad. Move Sophie. Move your head coaches. I'm thinking 318 squad. But if uh, y'all want to name it something different, uh, leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, so, uh, someone put me a dip in. Let's do it. Only three packs. Side pack. I'll do a top pack for y'all too, just in case. Three top packs. Also. My mama? No, it's not my mama. We're good. Mom knows I did, but she's gonna be doing it. Pretty sad, decent dip right there. It's not a good pack. Mmm. But... Yes. It's amazing. Move, please. And the mud jug we are spinning today is a GTA mud jug. Uh, I only got. Three mud jokes, so uh, spending just the same three over and over again until I can get somebody to get me in there. Right, okay, don't make fun of me. Uh, but uh, let's hop into this. So, my first dim experience was uh, not the summer I just passed, but the last one before that. I'm sorry, not the not this winter right now, but last winter, uh, it was. Around my birthday, before uh, if Tyler watches this video, he can put in the comments. I'm pretty sure he knows. Um, but uh, it was just me and Tyler having a good little campfire, and uh, I'm like, Tyler, I got some stuff. Like, got some snuff. I was like, Yeah, I got some snuff. And we're outside drinking us a, a few brewskis. <laughs> Just like a brewskis. Shout out to fucking Ted. Uh, please don't copyright me, please. But, um, had us a few, uh, shout out to brewskis. And, uh, <clears throat> they're Bud Light. Um, so, we were, uh, just sitting out there drinking. I was like, hey, man. He he dipped before, so he, he, he had him a dip in. I think he, I think he got it from a friend. It was some uh, Red Seal Wintergreen. And, uh, he was like, man, you gotta try this. I was like, I, I got some stuff for me. And, uh, it was, it was straight. It was fucking Stoker's Natural, something like that. Uh, long cut. And so, we, we were just sitting there by the fire. I was drinking a few beers. Uh, I was on my third beer. So I was on his fourth. He doesn't like beer, but he was, he was gulping them down. Uh, he just really wanted some alcohol. I wanted some too. But, uh, we were just sitting there drinking. Um, we were having fun. Took the dip out, pat me. I didn't know how to pack really well, so I just shook the can like this. Um, then after that, we, uh, then we put the dip in. I, I'm just sitting there, taking a few gulps of my beer. Spend the same time, just give me a good few spits out. Give me a few good toasted pastries in. Sorry, look at my fucking Pop-Tarts box right here and uh, say toasted pastries, my bad. But give me a few gulps of my beer at the same time, which, uh, isn't a good idea. Because, I mean, if you drink some of your dip while you drink your beer, I mean, it may, it depends on who you are. I mean, you can have a good gut reflex, which means, uh, basically you can just swallow anything. I mean, you can fucking swallow a lip load, but, uh, it's not really good for you. It hurts your fucking intestines. But, um, you know, we were, uh, just sitting there, and then about five minutes after I put that dip in, dude, literally five minutes. The buzz from hell hit. I mean, I was sitting on the fucking table, 
under this shed kind of thing. And he had this pole right here. I'm holding on to the pole. I go to let go of the pole, dude. I fucking started falling. Like, I, it was bad. Like, if I didn't hold on to that pole, pole I would have been on the ground. Uh, good thing my friend, my brother was there to watch me. Make sure I didn't fucking bust my fucking face and shit. He, he lasts about to this day. I mean, we do a whole bunch of dip. I mean, I've been doing for almost a good year now. Um, what I've dipped, I've dipped uh, Stoker's Natural, Grizzly Natural, Copenhagen Straight. Uh, remind you, I cannot stand fucking straight. Um, I guess, like, I mean, if it's dire need for some fucking straight, I'll pop a straight in. Like if I don't have anything, uh, I'll do some straight. But like the only two straight, the only straight that I like is fucking Grizzly Dark Select. Um, it's fucking good. Has a, it's not that big of a straight flavor. It's more of like a fucking hitching your fucking face with a good ass kick to it flavor. Um, it's it's a really it's some really good shit. Um, but uh, so this, all that. Oh, that's the dips I've done. I've done Copenhagen Mint, Copenhagen Wintergreen, Stoker's Wintergreen, Grizz, Grizzly Wintergreen, Grizzly Dark Wintergreen, uh, Grizzly Mint, Grizzly Dark Mint. Uh, I mean, I've done one non-tobacco. Oh, fuck, I forgot all the skulls. I've done Skull Bandits, which is a pouch. Well, whenever I got it, it was pouches. Uh, I got uh, Skull Mint, Extra Mint, by the way. I, got, I did Skull Wintergreen. Skull peach, skull cherry, skull green apple, and uh, my two favorite skull fruit flavors would be uh, peach and cherry. Cause I mean they actually have fucking flavor. Your green apple, I mean you just fucking get green apple and then for like a good five minutes and it's just fucking back to like fucking pure tobacco. I mean doesn't taste like straight, doesn't taste like shit. It tastes like ass. I mean nothing really good about it. And so I'm moving back so y'all can probably see me a little bit better. And so. uh We were just sitting there, dipping, almost fucking busting my face. I was like, man, I think I got to take this out. He was like, do you, man? If you want to take that out, take it out. I'm keeping mine in. I was like, you do you, man. I took my thing out, and they remind you, I had to do the lip pull. The little, you know, the little thing that all you beginners do. I do the lip pull. Uh, but, uh, we all, we all got some fun out of it, and, uh, I mean, it was a good night. Uh, my dad was there. My dad didn't know I dipped. Uh, he's one of the reasons why I took it out. But over over time, me and my dad did a lot of shit together. Me, me and my dad, we uh, me and my dad, we've drank together. We've uh, vaped together. I mean, I used to have a nice little vape, and uh, my dad found it. I was like, yeah, I vape. And he's like, all right, as long as you don't do anything bad with it. I was like, no, sir, I'm not. So uh, he he we, he called me vaping one time. Um, the first adult to buy my fucking can ever would be my dad. My dad, uh, it was uh, Longhorn Wintergreen Pouches. Tasted like shit, but uh, got me through those work days. I mean, me and my dad, we worked hard construction. Uh, my dad passed away June 24th of uh, 2017. Uh, hit me pretty fucking hard. Uh, I mean, since then, it's made me a better man because of all the shit that my dad's taught me. Um, I know that this is probably like ruining the fucking video, but uh, cause I know it's going a little bit everywhere. I mean, from my first dude experience to fucking vaping with my dad to fucking drinking with my dad to dipping with my dad. Uh, I mean, me and my dad did a lot of shit together. I mean, m me and my dad, we did construction. My dad had his own construction business, uh, which is now passed on to me. I mean, I gotta wait till I turn 18 to officially own it. But, uh, you know, the shit that goes on, goes on. And, uh, if I could have one more day with my dad, I'd, I'd take it right away. I mean, me losing my dad at the age of 15... It really hits you, I mean, and the way he went, I mean, yeah, God probably called him home, but, uh, God shouldn't have called him home like that, I mean, 
it was pretty crucial. I mean, I can only see half my dad. I mean, just going in there, I didn't think it was my dad. I thought it was a fucking joke. I mean, I was just sitting here playing my Xbox at fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. My grandma, my grandpa, my great-grandma, not my great-grandma, my other grandma on my mom's side. Walk in. I was passed out watching YouTube. Uh, I get waking up. Like, hey, you okay? I was like, yeah. Like, we gotta tell you something. I was like, is it bad? And they go, yeah. It's bad. I said, what is it? And they go, your dad died. And I broke down. My dad was my heart and soul. I'm a, I'm a dad's boy. Um, my dad taught me a lot my first. Uh, my dad taught me how to bait a, bait a fishing hook. Uh, so I'm had to drive a stand, not even drive a standard. I mean, he's the first person to let me drive. I mean, I can't drive a standard to save my life. I mean, if anybody wants to teach me out there, I'm hands up. Let's go. Come on. I mean, I might fuck up your car if you don't mind it. But, uh, I mean, I mean, it's a, it's some fun stuff. Uh, I have a lot of good memories of my dad. I have a lot of bad memories. My dad did some stuff that, uh, Put him in some bad patches. I got some friends that put him in some bad patches. But a lot of his friends were good friends. Um, a lot of his friends I count as my aunts and my uncles. Uh, I mean, a lot of the stuff that my dad taught me. That My dad taught me how to fucking hammer in a nail without hitting my fucking finger. My dad taught me how to put tin on a roof. My dad taught me how to fucking... Lay two by two by fours on a roof. Dad taught me how to put scaffolds on a roof. My dad taught me how to build a fucking structure that'll keep me not wet. My dad taught me how to build my first fire. My dad taught me camping for my first time. I mean, my dad taught me hunt for my first time. My dad taught me how to shoot a gun. I mean, my dad's taught me so much. My dad taught me firearm safety. He wasn't even instructed to do that. I mean, but I know enough. To where, whenever I was able to go to a hunter safety class, I didn't even have to get taught that stuff. I mean, it's, my dad taught me so much stuff that, um, half the shit that I went to do in my hunter safety class, I already knew. I mean, birds not to shoot, how to load a gun, how to hold a gun, how to keep gun safety in my mind. How to cross a fence without shooting your fucking friend in the back. I mean, my dad taught me so much. But, uh, I miss my dad, and I love him. And I'm glad I got friends like Tyler and, uh, Travis and Daniel to uh, keep me going through the day. Uh, my boy, my my boy Tyler, I've known him for the past eight years, and, uh, his family's my family, my family's his family. Uh, it's my brother. Travis, that's my brother. Daniel, that's my brother. But none of them will amount to Tyler. Because Tyler's been there through my fucking ups and my downs. Tyler's been there for my tough times and my worst. Keep going, baby girl. And, uh... Tyler, if you watch this, man... I'm with you, bro. Me and Tyler are going to do 91 Bravo in the National Guard. And I mean... Yeah, a lot of y'all might not, a lot of y'all might think National Guard some pussy shit. But, I mean, if y'all want free college... Y'all want some good, y'all want to fucking support a family? Y'all want to stay close to home with y'all's family? Do National Guard. I mean, you get a free college. I mean, with my shit that I'm going to do, as soon as I get out of National Guard, I'm going to college. And then after that, I'm joining the Marine Corps. December 5. Hoorah. Uh, I mean, all my brothers out there, even if they're not like, even if I don't know them yet, military brothers, Everything. We're, everybody's on a strong connection. I mean, what you go through is what you go through. And uh but I'm gonna hop off that subject to get into another for another for another video. But uh I really appreciate y'all watching it. Um it's my first video so I don't know if it's gonna be good. But remember uh like, comment, subscribe. If y'all wanna subscribe. I mean uh if y'all want me to do more videos, leave it in the comments before y'all subscribe. Um If y'all me to do a, if y'all me to do like a my daily life vlog, um, what I what I do in the mornings, what I do in the afternoons, let me know. Uh, 
I appreciate you for watching this. Uh, shout out to my boy Renet TV, uh, to Outlaw, to Chris Dips One, to Mudjug.com. Um, they're the ones that can get you these awesome spit tunes right here. Uh, use use my uh use the other YouTubers Redneck TV. Um, his is all caps. R N T V fifteen. Uh, you get fifteen percent off in the mud jug store for uh, all your mud jug needs. You can get these. You can get a stealth, which is basically looks like a fucking flask. I mean, some cool shit. Uh, one second, let me get that. Let me get my stealth one for y'all. I mean, y'all probably won't be able to see it, but uh, let me get it for y'all real quick. Looks like this, really small. Mine got the Confederate flag and the uh, iron toolbox on the back, like you see in those big trucks. Has uh, a Confederate flag popping out. I mean, it holds a pretty good, decent amount of spit. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can get you a roadie for free with a purchase of a mud jug like this. You can get you a free roadie. With the purchase of a mud of a mud jug stealth like this. You can get you a free stealth roadie or one of these. I mean. Why not do it? I'm gonna get you some dip can lids to cover up your cans. I mean, give you a better pack. Uh, get you some shirts. Uh, I believe that you can get you some other shit. Um, go check out the Northerner. They have all these dips. They have Swedish dips. They have all that for uh, good prices. Um, they uh. I think what else, man? Uh, I can't think of anything else, man. Uh, so, uh, oh, go support those YouTube channels I put out: Redneck TV, Outlaw, Chris Dips One. They're all pretty good dippers. They're funny as fuck. I mean, uh, Redneck TV, he's pretty funny. He has a he has some funny moments. Uh, Outlaw, he's pretty funny too. Um. But, uh, yeah, y'all leave in the comment section what y'all want the squad name to be. I'm thinking 318 squad, but uh, if y'all want something else, y'all put it down in the comments. Thank y'all for watching. Keep it cool.